Keeping Up With The Kardashians filmed its last ever episode on Friday night, bringing an end to the reality TV juggernaut after 15 years on screen. While celebrations were certainly dampened by the COVID-19 pandemic, Kim Kardashian and her siblings ensured they brought the show to an end in style, with champagne and personalized cookies at an outdoor garden party which they, no surprise, documented on Instagram. Sisters Courtney and Chloe both shared glimpses of their children tucking into the biscuits with icing to mimic their faces, after paying to tribute to the show's crew, including audio technician Aaron Paxson who has worked on the show for 14 years. As Kim and her siblings recorded the final scenes for their series, the star shared a glimpse of the mask-clad crew preparing to film. The reality star's husband Kanye West was noticeably absent following rumors that divorce between the couple is imminent after a turbulent six-year marriage. Kim shared a drink with the Cub crew Friday, as they raised a glass after filming the final episode of their e-show's 20-season run, which first aired back in 2007. She captioned the video, 20 seasons, 14 years. Bible, we can't believe today is the last day of filming for hashtag Cub. Final season coming soon to E. She sat in her backyard with a plastic cup of champagne in her hand, addressing her fans, Hey guys, we just finished filming forever. Like forever, ever. We're done. We're never filming again. Is that so crazy? So, we're having a drink with the crew in my backyard, hanging out. Cheers to. I don't know, 15 years, 20 seasons of craziness and lots of love. It's a wrap. Not on the tears or the drinks though, Kim later wrote with a photo of the party's liquor selection, adding, officially sobbing. Grateful for every single second. Kim also filmed the moment the crew prepared her microphone for the show's final ever scenes, and could be heard telling one of the audio tech student cry, don't cry. She also added a touching moment to her IG stories showing the Coke audio technician Aaron Paxton as she outfitted Kim with a mic for the very last time after 14 years of production. This is our last keeping up with the Kardashians my king of life, Kim said, as she panned her camera phone down to show the mic boxes of all of her sisters and her mother. Aaron was heard saying, I'm going to cry, while the middle Kardashian sister tried to comfort her, holding the different mic boxes personalized with each of the cast's names, Kylie. Chris, Court, Chloe, Kim, and Kendall. After filming had wrapped the cast celebrated the show's end with an outdoor garden party, which saw the table decorated with personalized emoji-style cookies. No surprise this delighted the Kardashian, Jenner kids, who proceeded to tuck into the biscuits covered with their faces. The emoji-like cookies were perched on small wooden easels, getting details down with aplomb including Kylie Jenner's current pink-hued hairdo and momager Kris Jenner's signature style and attitude. While Courtney's ex Scott Disick also featured on the table of cookies, Kim's husband Kanye, who rarely featured on the series, did not. Chloe also posted clips from the occasion, including her daughter True Thompson and nephew Sam Kardashian West as they played on the bench and munched on their cookies. Their friend Christina Milian's food truck beignet box also paid a visit, providing some powdered sugar-coated treats for the farewell. Chloe also shared a glimpse of her Starbucks cup as she drove home from the set, with the outside completely covered in the words last day. In September the Kardashian clan stunned fans by announcing the series was coming to an end after 20 seasons and 15 years on screen, with the final episode expected to air this spring. There was no reasons for the decision but he said in a statement that it respects the family's decision to live their lives without our cameras. In recent years numerous siblings, most recently Courtney, have been reluctant to film the show. Kim has also endured a turbulent year with her husband Kanye West's mental health battle and controversial presidential run putting unprecedented strain on her marriage, with rumors swirling their divorce is imminent. Throughout the years the show chronicled key events in the personal and professional lives of the California family, including Kim Kardashian's marriages to Chris Humphreys and West, an armed robbery in Paris, the breakup of Khloe Kardashian's marriage to basketball player Lamar Odom, and the transition of family patriarch Bruce Jenner to Caitlyn Jenner. In an Instagram message Kim wrote, 
To our amazing fans, it is with heavy hearts that we've made the difficult decision as a family to say goodbye to keeping up with the Kardashians. After what will be 14 years, 20 seasons, hundreds of episodes and numerous spin-off shows, we are beyond grateful to all of you who've watched us for all of these years, through the good times, the bad times, the happiness, the tears, and the many relationships and children. We'll forever cherish the wonderful memories and countless people we've met along the way. Thank you to the thousands of individuals and businesses that have been a part of this experience, she wrote. Kim added, most importantly, a very special thank you to Ryan Seacrest for believing in us, e. for being our partner, and our production team at Bunham, Murray, who've spent countless hours documenting our lives. Our last season will air early next year in 2021. Without keeping up with the Kardashians, I wouldn't be where I am today. I am so incredibly grateful to everyone who has watched and supported me and my family these past 14 incredible years. This show made us who we are and I will be forever in debt to everyone who played a role in shaping our careers and changing our lives forever. With love and gratitude, Kim.